आज उन्हीं से हम जानने का प्रयत्न करते हैं मेरा हिंदी तो तो ना regardless of their religion regardless of their ethnic origin and since then i have felt that india is given to me so i am giving back something to india in my own way so this museum so anyway enjoy that museum this is your home this is your museum and then we meet again huh building of the fact uh, Shivaji Maharaj museum is dedicated to Dr Kiri Joshi Dr Kiri Joshi was an exceptional man at first he was a IS officer and then he read Sri Aurobindo and became a disciple of the mother and Sri Aurobindo and was for many years the register of the Sri Aurobindo ashram school in Pondicherry and then the mother asked him to go back to Delhi and be, became education secretary of Indira and then Rajiv Gandhi he was also a Vedic scholar and a philosopher uh, in his later life he became uh, the chairman of the Indian Philosophical uh, Council and the education secretary of Mr Modi in Gujarat he was a very simple man very gentleman but probably one of the best brains on the Vedas you know his knowledge about the Vedas is so immense that i think you know when he died it took a lot with him so we wanted to dedicate a pavilion to Dr. Kiri Joshi. So this is uh, our latest exhibition. It's a quick look at Indian history from proto-history till today. And uh, it's been done by a gentleman called Mr. Raj Mohanka in the US who was an expert on this on Indian history. And we just opened it uh, last week. I think it's probably one of the most comprehensive uh, exhibition on Indian history that is true Indian history, not the Indian history that you read in books, but the one that actually happened. Um, we are happy about it because uh, first it's a new pavilion dedicated to our friend Dr. Kiri Joshi and also having a overall look at Indian history. an exhibition on Tipu Sultan and fortunately Tipu Sultan is one of the heroes of you know Nehruvian India along with Ashoka or Akbar and uh, he's been uh, he's been portrayed as a you know as a friend of Indians because uh, he fought against the British but actually he was a very cruel man and one of his main goals was to convert Hindus uh, to Islam and he did it in a very violent manner so here we have shown Tipu Sultan as he was, according to his own records. 
and each panel tells a story. And this is one of our latest exhibitions that we, we have installed it in this small pavilion. And I think it's a very popular one and uh, we are happy to set the record straight to show history of India as it happened, not as it has been portrayed in history books. An exhibition on the Goa Inquisition by the Portuguese, which is very unique because there have been books which have detailed, you know, historically how the Portuguese tortured and killed not only Hindus but also Muslims and Jews in Goa. But it's the first time, to my knowledge, that it's been done, you know, in an exhibition type, and so we are also very proud of this exhibition and. Uh, we show from the arrival of the Portuguese when they were welcomed by the Zamorin of, uh, of Calicut till Nehru sent his tanks to put them out of India. The Portuguese were the last to leave India, I think in 1956, and they actually had to be physically ejected from India. Of course, Goa is a myth today, but the history of Goa is a very bloody and dark one, and here we recount this history in that hall which is dedicated to Dr. Bandaro's son. <laughs>